Welcome to the Porn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your porn or sex addiction. I'm your host, JK Amazi, Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. Welcome to the episode. Today, I'm going to be sharing four relapse prevention tips with you. I often run polls within our groups, both our free and our paid private groups. And one of the big topics that men wants to learn more about is relapse prevention. And so I assumed that many of the brothers who listen to this podcast would benefit from this as well. So they're just a few, uh, I wouldn't really call these tips, but I would say it's a mixture of tips and concepts to keep in mind. The first thing is if you are under the impression that your relapse is something which just happens, I want to make it clear that it is not. Once your relapse symptoms are activated, there is a process, an entire process that takes place. But the important thing to realize is that this process involves a loss of control over your emotions, over your judgment, and over your thoughts. So when you find yourself beating yourself up over slips and relapses, I want you to understand that you were not able to make a rational decision during that time. In addition to that, your thoughts were not rational and your emotions, you no longer had control over your specific emotions when you were going through the relapse process. You know, to learn more about that, you can visit one of the episodes where I speak about the midbrain and the neocortex. The second tip is to realize that all the different warning signs of your relapse are for the most part unconscious. Like your conscious awareness literally blocks them from coming into awareness, or rather you block them from conscious awareness. One of the easiest ways to get past this is to have some sort of checklist. I call this a relapse prevention checklist. And it's something that you do once a week is good enough, honestly, to make sure that you're doing the things that will prevent a relapse and to make sure that you are also having enough self-care. So if you find your relapse checklist could include something like you know, I'm making time for self-care. I am putting time aside to meditate. I'm putting time aside to rejuvenate myself. I'm taking time off work. I'm not letting stress build up. Um, and it's different for different people. Personally, I need to take several breaks a day. I need to meditate. Some other men may need to go for a run and they might need to go to the gym at a certain time. Some men might need some time to read. Some men might need time to watch something. Some men might need to spend some time with their partner. Whatever self-care is for you, add it to your checklist and be specific about it. When it comes to boundaries, you want to make sure that you're not slowly eroding your boundaries. We often slip on things like YouTube and then we set a strong boundary with it. But next thing we know, two weeks later, we've watched a video here, a video there. And next thing you know, it's back to being a regular habit. That means that your boundary has been eroded. So you may have something in your checklist that says something like, well, am I gradually eroding any of my boundaries or have I crossed any of my boundaries or have I minimized any of my boundaries? Have I said like, oh, it's that, that's not a big deal and rationalized it in some way. In the Porn Reboot system, we have a very comprehensive relapse prevention checklist which you can use. But in the meantime, you can create one for yourself, filling it out once a week by realizing that your relapse warning signs for the most part are going to be unconscious. They're happening, but if you don't build up the habit of filling out that checklist, you're not going to be consciously aware of them. The third thing to realize is that your relapse, despite the warning signs being unconscious and despite it being a process that involves loss of control over your judgment and your thoughts and your emotions. It's also your creation and thus it is also your responsibility. However, because something is your responsibility does not mean that you have to beat yourself up every time. Here's what I mean by, by your relapse being your creation and thus your responsibility. 
I mean that your relapse comes together as a result of your values, your attitudes, and your behavioral responses. That's where it comes from. And it is your responsibility to change your values and to change your attitude towards certain behaviors and to change your behavioral responses, right? So if you have an attitude about pornography, which is very cavalier, which you're just like, you know what? It's not that big a deal. I can stay off it for a week or two weeks and then use it again. You know, that's cool. That's not a big deal. But then you find out that you're experiencing all these negative symptoms of porn addiction. That's your attitude towards it. You're very relaxed about it if you don't take it seriously. If your behavioral responses, for instance, remain the same, which means that you have no control over your strong emotions, you experience a strong emotion, and then you roll in that emotion. Oh, somebody insulted me, so I'm going to get angry. And every time I get angry, I act out and view pornography. Your uh, boundary is not going to stop you from acting out. It's your responsibility to change the way that you respond to certain situations in your life. And thus, your relapse is both your creation and your responsibility to change. And when I talk about you know not beating yourself up about it, that's where some guys start getting lost. And that's one of the places where good system can help you and guide you. Because when you're doing this on your own and you're not in control of your emotions, your thoughts, and your judgments, you're not thinking straight, it becomes very difficult to set up something that you can follow consistently. So we basically provide the path for you and we provide the boundaries. It's like you're traveling on a highway and we don't want you to drive off the highway and go into the woods. So we put up a fence there. And every time you try to veer into the woods, we'll, you know, we'll be the fence, we'll push you back, or we'll be the cops and we'll whoop whoop <laughs> and pull you over and just be like, hey man, you keep trying to go into the woods. What's going on? You gotta stay on the road. These are what the rules are. And finally, the final tip is that the relapse process can be changed or it can be interrupted at any point. And that means that despite the fact that there is loss of control, despite the fact that for the most part, your relapse warning signs are unconscious, with enough training and being in the right system, you can learn how to interrupt it at any point, right? So the first few points and tips I shared are for men who are early in this journey. And early in this journey does not mean that I, I spent 12 years in some 12-step group. That does not mean that you are, oh, I'm, I'm in late recovery, I'm experienced. You could still be very early in your reboot if you're still slipping and relapsing. Your years of therapy or being in rehab is really not a barometer for how far you've come when it comes to controlling your out-of-control behavior. So if you still find that, hey, you know, JK, what you said makes sense. I am mostly unconscious of this. And it does make sense. When I do relapse, I do lose control. I am taken over by my emotions. And I often snap out of it after orgasm and just realize that, man, you know, I just, I can't believe that I would make the decision to do that when I have so much at stake, right? When my marriage is at stake, when my career is at stake, when my happiness is at stake, you made the wrong judgments. So if that's still happening to you and you can relate to that, you're early, you're early in the process, man. And so there is hope. You can learn how to interrupt it, change it, the, the course of that relapse at any given point. But like any skill, it involves not only learning the skill, but repeating it and being in the right environment when you do that. I'm JK, your brother in the struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this episode of the Porn Reboot Podcast. Now, whenever you're ready, there are a few ways that I can help you and your out of control behavior with pornography and masturbation. The first way is to grab a free copy of my book. If you haven't already, it's called Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men. And it is the roadmap to controlling your behavior with masturbation. It is the roadmap that my clients over the past nine years have used to control their behavior. So you can see the different things they did and you can apply it to your life for free. The second way is to join our free Porn Reboot Facebook group. 
And this is a place where you can connect with other men who are serious about ending their out-of-control behavior. This is a place where you can have accountability partners. It's a place where you can learn more about the system. It is not a place where we post memes where people come in and go like, oh my God, fap this and fap that and, and ask. No, we don't, we don't do any of that. Everyone in our group is serious and they really want to end their out-of-control behavior. In fact, for the past couple of weeks, I don't think we've let in more than a handful of people in the group. And I'm pretty sure that we've gotten up there a thousand and something requests in the past couple of weeks. So we're very, very picky. If you show up to our group, I know a lot of men want to join the group. We turn down a lot of men. If you show up and you're using a new Facebook profile, please send us a message. Send one of the moderators a message and let them know like, hey, you know, I want to join the group, but I'm I'm a listener of the Porn Reboot podcast. I want to check it out, but I'm concerned about my privacy. So I'm using a new, you know, Facebook where I remove my picture. We respect your privacy and we'll let you in. But if you show up with some hentai manga, like weird picture on your profile and you're following like some, you know, like hot chicks from Wyoming fucking group, we're not going to let you into our group. It shows us all the groups that you're a part of. We're not going to let you into our group. So don't apply if you're not serious. It's, it's not a casual free group. It is a public group. It's so funny. I had another guy tell me the other day. He was like, well, I'm struggling with pornography and that's enough. You should let me into your group because of that. I was like, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Just because you're struggling doesn't mean I'm going to let you into our group. We are looking for men who are interested in this system. And we have men in the group, believe it or not. Well, you don't need to not believe it or not. They've been interviewed on this podcast who have ended their out-of-control behavior by being in the free group alone. There are a lot of men who have done that, but you are not entitled to join the group just because you put in an application to do so. So please answer the questions. Make sure your profile is in order and we will let you in. And the final way I can help you, gentlemen, is if you are at a point in your reboot where you found out that you're a person who likes structure. You're like, listen, I want to see everything broken down. I need to know what step one is, step two is. I'm a systems guy. And I want to know that if I do this, if I put this input, I'm going to get this output. And I want it to be guaranteed. I know it's not going to be perfect. But listen, man, if I can have that process together from beginning to the point where my brain is going to be rewired, I got this. I just haven't found a process that breaks it down in a way that makes sense and also that has people who have followed that process successfully. So if you're a systems guy, you may be a good fit for our implementation or for our intensive group. If you're also a high performer who does not have much time to dedicate to his reboots, you're like, listen, man, I know I have a problem. I'd love to be a part of it, but I don't know if I can dedicate enough time to this. That's absolutely fine. Our system is designed for you to control your behavior in only two to three hours a week. I want to be very clear about this. If you come in and you're one of those guys who's like, JK, I thought I had like five hours, but I really only have about three hours to dedicate to this. I'm going to give you a plan on what you can do to control your behavior and make the most of our program in 90 days in only two to three hours a week. And you can break that up into 20 or 30 minutes sessions of following our system in order to get that. That's one of the things that we actually guarantee that we can get you to control your behavior within 90 days. Now, I know that COVID and the pandemic has thrown off a lot of guys and guys are hesitant, but we have made some adjustments and we are rather flexible when it comes to helping out some men financially to be able to afford the program and proud to say that we do work with men who are serious and committed. If you can show that you are serious and you are committed to ending your out-of-control behavior, we're going to work with you. We'll find something that we can do for you. So gentlemen, those are a few ways that I can help you end your out-of-control behavior. Have a wonderful day and I will be speaking to you later on in the week.